Hey guys, welcome back to the Neil Fight Journal. A uh, couple of questions, a couple of interesting questions that have come through the comment section with regards to the X-Reels. These babies right here. And uh, yeah, why not? I've got a little bit of time. I'm not at home, so the setup is not the usual setup, but you know, we'll do we'll do what we can, yeah? So firstly, I get quite chuffed when my videos have views in the first place. So thank you everyone. But I get even more chuffed when people want to interact and leave me comments. So before anyone purchases these glasses, if you do have any questions, just, just let me know, man. Like I use these on a daily and I don't use them for gaming, which is something that I like to say in the beginning. I don't use these for watching movies. I use these purely for the multi-display functionality that they bring because of work. Um, like I said in the previous video, I don't travel with multiple screens. This here is my multiple screen that I travel with and it does it does everything, man. 90 hertz and, and lower, it, it does it. It does it all. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at some of these questions. So Pas Pascal, Frederick 5329. Pascal Frederick. I used to know someone by that name a long time ago. Uh, hello, so you mentioned that you're using this, you are using this work purpose. You're using this for work purposes. Are you using the glasses for eight hours? How does it feel for your eyes? Do you take breaks? Is it better, equal, or worse than having, let's say, three displays in terms of comfort and usability? I definitely get the point of carrying multiple screens, but I'm not sure about other implications that might come up. Please provide me with some suggestions. Thank you for the vid. My man, thank you for the comment. So Pascal, are you using the glasses for eight hours? No, I'm not using the glasses for eight hours. So depending on the nature of your job, you might have to sit at your desk for a long time. What I would recommend is you take breaks Every hour you take a break, refresh your eyes, look at something else, you know, go on Instagram. I don't know, look at look at something for about 10 minutes and then come back. Because my day is a mixture of admin work, which involves emails, and then the actual job that I do, sales as well, is part of my job, so I'm mostly on the phone as well. I don't have the glasses on for eight hours straight, like it's impossible. I never have a day when I'm not picking up the phone. So if I'm picking up the phone, the glasses are coming off, I'm paying attention to my phone call. And yeah, eight hours is a lot. <laughs> eight hours is crazy, man. But I use it and when I use it, I take a break. I take a break either every 30 minutes or I take a break every hour. It's just something that I would do whether or not I had the glasses. It's just, I'm more, I function better that way. Like I know some people, they go in, but I'm not one of those people. I have to take, I have, I, have, I have to breathe after 30 minutes. I have to breathe after an hour. After an intense phone call, I have to breathe as well. So I, I never have them on for eight hours straight, but yes, I can use them for eight hours if I have breaks in between. You have a good question as well. How does it feel for your eyes? I have glasses. I don't have them here, but I do have glasses because I wear glasses. So underneath, underneath these, I'll put my glasses here. So I'll have my glasses and then I'll have these on top of my glasses. And yeah, after, after a while, you can definitely, um, after a while, you can definitely tell that it does affect your eyes a bit, but that's especially when I'm not wearing my glasses. So I do wear my glasses. Uh, I do take breaks and to be quite honest, it's no different to when I don't have the glasses. So when I'm in the office and I have multiple screens, it's no different, but yeah, you do feel it. You do kind of feel it. So yeah, if you, if you wear them, I think everybody has some like a different, a different tolerance, but you're not going to have disclaimer. I don't have headaches from from these things. 
I don't know if some people have headaches from them because they're straining their eyes, but I don't have headaches from them. So I hope that answers the question. Let me have a look here. Uh, how does it feel on your eyes? Yeah. So I have, even without the glasses, I still have eye drops only because I work in the dark. It's a mistake that I do working in the dark. You should never work in the dark. You should work with as much light as you can because the next day when you wake up, your eyes are all, your eyes are all trash. So I have um, liquid for dry eyes and stuff like that. But yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it. You can definitely feel it. And I don't work eight hours straight with them, but I have a feeling that if I did have them on for like eight hours in one go, I have a feeling that I'd... Mm, I probably feel a bit funny about them. Do you take breaks? Bro, I take breaks every 30 minutes, every hour. I take breaks with or without the glasses. And I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of liquid. So every now and then I drink like two, two liters of water a day. So every now and then I have to get up to go use the toilet. Every now and then I have to pick up a call. Every now and then I have to move around. So yeah, I do take breaks and I would advise you to take breaks. I would advise you to take breaks. Don't be, don't be a machine. Don't be a, don't be a cyborg. Is it better, equal, or worse than having, let's say, three displays in terms of comfort and usability? Okay. In terms of comfort, you get used to them. The thing that is a bit uncomfortable is the fact that I have to wear my regular glasses and then I have to wear these on top of my regular glasses which after a while it doesn't bother me but in the beginning the it, it did bother me because it didn't sit it, my glasses weren't sitting properly inside these so it did get a bit uncomfortable but now it's fine now it's fine I'm, I'm perfectly fine with them and if I don't wear my glasses yes they're super comfortable uh, if you do wear them for some time and you touch them you will notice that they're a little bit hot Obviously the microchip is in here. You'll notice that there's a bit of heat, but the heat doesn't the heat doesn't get on your skin. It doesn't get on your face. So yeah, they they are comfortable. What would I prefer in terms of three displays or the glasses? I would prefer three displays. Yeah. I would I would prefer three three screens. But the whole purpose of technology is that technology has to help you with your circumstances that's the whole point of having technology that's the reason why i don't use these for gaming i don't play video games with these it's not it's not my purpose i don't watch movies with these it, it's not my purpose i use these for work that's my purpose that's why i got them so somebody who plays video games with these he might tell you a different story somebody that watches movies with these they might tell you a different story but for me i would rather have three screens 24 inch 24 inch screens, three 24 inch screens, then the glasses. But again, because of my circumstances, I have to travel. The glasses are perfect. But yeah, nothing beats having the three screens because there's more light, right? You get more light and stuff, especially if you have a G9. Can you imagine a Samsung G9? Having three Samsung G9s, bro, that'd be amazing. There is also an issue of privacy. So if I'm in a co-working space or if I'm in a cafe and I want to look at important documents or maybe I, the cafe is busy and I don't want the people behind me looking at my screen or I just I need some privacy. The glasses are perfect. You put the glasses on and, and no one can see what you're looking at. You, your screen, your laptop screen gets dark. You, you turn off your laptop screen. And you just use your glasses and no one no one knows what you're looking at so if i'm looking at sensitive documents which is part of my job i look at loads of sensitive documents then the glasses are perfect like yesterday for example i was in a cafe and there were like korean tourists that got off a bus and they were taking videos of the cafe and everything i don't want i don't want my clients documents on like someone's video you know what i mean so you wear the glasses and ultimate privacy it's perfect Please provide some suggestions. Bro, it depends what you want to do. It depends what you do for work. Uh, for me, I look at documents, just to give you like an example. The majority of my work is documents. So I'll have 
three folders on three screens and I'll open three documents on three screens and I'll have multiple documents up and running on all three screens. So mostly it's, it's documentation that I'm looking at. I'm not coding. I'm not uh, doing any animations. I'm not doing any of that. It's just basically documentation that I'm looking at. I'm looking at documents on these three screens. So the best suggestion that I can give you is if you have three screens and sorry, neighbor's kids, man. Anyway, if you have three screens and you don't need the glasses, don't get the glasses. Just use your three screens. If you're mobile and you go up and down and you need flexibility, portability, get the glasses. Take breaks when you're using the glasses because you're only a human being, you're not a robot. Take breaks. And then, yeah, I think I think the glasses are quite fine. I think they've got a lot of, they've got a lot of stick. Like a lot of people, a lot of people say things about these, but to me, as long as they fit the primary function, the reason why I got them, I'm perfectly fine with them. Another thing that I don't use these for is listening to music. So they do have, you see this here? This is the speaker. This is the speaker. This is the brightness bar. This is the on and off screen. So this is the brightness. So if you're working in the dark and it's too bright, you just go and it lowers the brightness. Or you go if you're working in the daytime and the light from the outside is too bright, then you just increase the brightness. Or if you want to go full on dark mode, you got these, they come with the glasses, you attach them on, and now it's full on dark, full on black. So yeah, uh, it depends on what you're going to use them for, bro. It definitely depends on what you're going to use them for. Yeah, so I've, I've not, even when I edit videos, like this video that I'm about to edit, I don't wear the glasses while I'm editing the video. Like I've got an 18 inch laptop, my, my laptop is massive. So I don't need to use the, the glasses. So yeah, it just depends on, on what you're going to use them for. So firstly, I don't use a beam because it goes back to what I originally said. The purpose of the glasses, for me anyway, is work. So you can use the beam if you're like into watching movies with your glasses and so on and so forth. But I don't use the beam. Another silly thing about the beam is that it's got about two hours of battery. Two, two and a half, three hours of battery. So you're paying like what? You're paying like $100 for a device that's got two and a half hours of battery. Uh, would I really want to invest in that? I don't know, to each their own, but I wouldn't buy the Beam. Again, it depends on what you want to use it for. Extra air connected directly to Windows PC with high and strong graphics card. 3060 and above. Nebula software, 3DOF. Yes, you're still 3DOF because you've connected these to your PC. So it's, to your PC, it's 3DOF. High-end strong graphics card, yes, your RAM does get affected, 3060 and above, yes, Nebula software, yes. Yeah, so I'm running, I'm running a 4080 GPU, uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX, so 4080 is what I'm running. Option 3, Xreal Air 2 Ultra without extra software and hardware, 6DOF. Are you talking about Samsung Ultra? Because if you're talking about Samsung Ultra, Yes, you can you can achieve 6DOF once it's connect, connected to your Android. So within the app, uh, within Nebula, you can choose to anchor your display or not anchor your display. If you anchor, anchor your display, then your display is like, bang, right straight in front of you. If you choose not to anchor your display, then it kind of moves. So every time you rotate your head, the display moves with your head. So yes, you can achieve 6DOF. 6DOF means it's locked here. But if I move, it doesn't move with me. 3DOF is if it's locked here and I move, then it moves with me. So yeah, once it's connected to your device, once it's connected to your Android device and you've got Nebula running, there is the option in Nebula to anchor, uh, I keep saying anchor, to anchor your screen. So you can choose to anchor your screen or you can choose not to anchor your screen. So it'll go 3DOF, 6DOF. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's pretty much it. Is it possible to charge the beam while using the beam and the glasses? So yeah, to answer your question, there's a Reddit post about charging the beam. And I think you can charge the beam 
while it's in use. So that might be a good thing for you. Like I said, I don't use the beam, but I'm gonna take a screenshot of the Reddit post and then you can you can possibly follow it. But yeah, I don't see the point in using the beam. Not not for anything that I do anyway, but I hope I've answered all the questions. Ramberta, if if I misunderstood your question, just ask it to me again. I, I've never achieved 60 OF when connected to my laptop because I've never I've never needed 60 OF, but I'll try it. Uh, and if I've missed any questions, guys, just just let me know. Just let me know. I think I've I think I've answered everything. Thanks for everything, guys. Thanks for the comments and thanks for watching.